the latest battlefronts. Meanwhile, the security details of NASA flag bearer Raila Odinga and his running mate Kalonzo Musioka have been withdrawn by the National Police Service. The withdrawal took place Monday evening, just a day before planned protest by the leaders seeking electoral reforms ahead of the October 26 repeat presidential poll. And even though the police service insists the move was a normal routine shakeup within the service, NASA leaders have insisted the move was intended to frustrate their efforts towards pushing for the street demos against the IBC. Timothy Otieno, our reports. <laughs> It's the news of the withdrawal of key security members for NASA flag bearer Raila Odinga and his running mate Kalonzo Musioka that has been met with fury from the duo's political wing who insist the move must have been instigated by powers higher than those from the National Police Service. This is a dangerous president in bad taste and we want to tell President Uru Kenyatta that should anything happen, to any of our principles, we shall lay the blame squarely on his shoulders. Indeed, sources within the police service did reveal to KTN News that there was withdrawal of some officers guarding the two leaders, but insist the move is nothing more than a routine administrative procedure. But leaders allied to NASA will hear none of that insisting the recall of the unknown number of officers was a move by the government to undermine the opposition's push for electoral reforms. And as such, the legislators are responding with a stern warning. We therefore give the states 24 hours to return our leaders' security or face mass action right at their doorstep. This is not negotiable. The NASA leader, during a press briefing Tuesday afternoon, revealed that he had not been informed of any reshuffle, insisting that the move would not cow him. I'm not here because of the security. My biggest security is the people of Kenya. That is why they can withdraw the security is their shawri. The Election Amendment Act of 2016 indicates that a presidential election may be cancelled if a candidate dies or suffers great injury before a poll. And it is for that reason that presidential candidates often receive state security during their campaigns. It is not yet clear, however, how many bodyguards Raila Odinga and his running mate received after their nomination for the presidency, but the NASA leader is said to have had at least 12 people guarding him, a deal he received for being the former premier. Under the law, I am entitled to state security. I don't enjoy them at the behest or because of uh, the sympathy and mercy or pleasure of Uhuru Kenyatta. There is a law which he himself accented to, which entitled me to security, she entitled me to pension, and so on, and it has to loans as well. It is not the first time the police service is falling under such criticism. Last year, Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho's security detail was withdrawn, prompting the leader to move to court to have his security reinstated nearly 10 months after they were withdrawn. Timothy Otieno... KTN News.